So, paint job? Paint job. Mark just told me it's time to go in the shop. That's my dad, you guys. They just screwed it to the drip rock? It's pretty cool to see my dad after a while. Thank you so much, man. I love you, bro. See you, buddy. See you next time. And that was Foresty Forest, you guys. Simon and I have officially met up. We didn't do any videos together, so we just uh, we just hung out and chatted and ca caught up on a few things, and that was it. Anyway, I'm in Revelstoke, BC, and he was just telling me that a highway's closed at Golden, so I've got to drop down it to uh, Radium Hot Springs and then come back up the 93. So I'm gonna keep driving today, make my way to Calgary, and I'll see you in Calgary. Unless I pull over for night. I might just drive all night tonight and keep going. So we'll see. Good to see you, bud. Yeah, good to see you, bud. Huh. You made it. I did. That was awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful here, man. I love this. The, the sky's beautiful. I know, lots of sun. It's always sun here. That's the thing. It's, it's so different. Yeah. You got a mask and stuff? Yeah, you got your. Got your cowboy mask. Yeah. Cowboy, cowboy mask. Yeah. Sweet. So, paint job? Paint job. You go uh, that way? Back out to McKnight, which is that yeah. highway up there. <laughs> it's good awesome. to see you, man. It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while. Mark is going to be doing a little bit of body work on my van and this is something we talked about doing in the past and it was something that we we're kind of hoping he would do sometime this summer which is sort of come and gone. It's fall right now. There's, the leaves are changing and it's getting cold out running my heater more often. Uh, but in any case he's been kind of cooped up out this way and so we got on the phone we we're talking about everything and he's like, well, you know, if you're able to come out here, I can do all that stuff on your van and maybe we can do a little bit better job and uh, I can do it all for free. That's not really free, but he's, uh, he's, he's doing a favor for me because we did, we did a trade and stuff like that. So he's got a few things of mine that, uh, that I had that were kind of valuable to me at the same time, but I could see they were gonna really help him out as well and so we uh we bartered some services if you will so mark's gonna do a couple things he's going to i mean he's actually doing a little bit more than we had talked about so this is uh, this is pretty incredible mark thank you buddy i'm gonna take you out to dinner on this one i got uh, these four holes that i put through the roof of my van a long time ago if you watch the build series you'll see just what i'm talking about that was kind of a that was a bummer Anyway, they've been, they've never really fully been fixed. They've been patched and bondoed and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that's all gonna get sand finished and new coat of paint over top of it. Mark's gonna blend it all in. He does a really good job with this kind of stuff. And um, we're also gonna paint my rims. He wants to refinish those and there's some stuff up there in the front, the grill, he wants to refinish that stuff too. So he just wants to make my van look pretty. And uh, I got to meet the guys in the shop over here at Tyro. Um, got to talk with John and I think Chris and stuff like that. Really nice guys in there. And uh, they got quite an operation. Like seeing what they did on my friend Chrome's van, on Van City Van Life. It was just, it was really nice. So, I mean, I, I could do that sort of thing to my van. But we're talking a bill that I really just don't have. I just don't have the means to spend that kind of money on, on something like that for my van. And my van's in pretty good shape. Um, way, way, way better shape than my friend's Chrome's van was in. So anyway, that's why I'm here. I also have to do, there's still a job that I need to do down below on my van and that's uh, working on my rocker panels. 
It was something I was trying to get to this summer, but uh, things got pushed back and things got pushed back. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna do that out on the island. <laughs> Mark just told me it's time to go in the shop. And uh, we got a little bit of masking already going on up there too. Whew. I'm sitting in my van most of the day here working on a, on a video for you guys. A little behind schedule at the moment. Try to knock these down just a little bit. Flatten them out a little bit. Flatten them out. I just want them uh, want them a little bit uh, concave, um, so everything sits down there. So I'm going to do a skin coat on these anyway. Yeah. And this will just make it perfect for me. I just want that down just a little bit more. Yeah. safety gear folks. Some of you know that I said I used to work in aviation. This is where I used to work. This is in Calgary, a place called Avmax. It's still here. And I used to come here every day, go in that building, and there's two big hangar doors in this one. There's one on that side and one on the other side. And typically work on regional jets, dash eights, sometimes some smaller planes and stuff like that, but it was mostly those ones doing seat checks. And um, the work that I was doing was had to do with all the interior stuff pretty much. So it was like the internal paneling and all that stuff that you see when you walk inside an airplane, all the seats and then the upholstery. That's a Dash 8 right there. It's missing its props, but it's a turboprop aircraft. And, uh, and I think that one way back there in the background, uh, that's an RJ. So that's the other one that I used to work on. They're smaller planes. They're usually set up for like private um, business jets and stuff like that especially those rjs in the back and then these ones are used for a lot of like pacific small run you know flights going from you know small airport to small airport within the pacific uh, northwest region so anyway i just wanted to share that thing i was in town so i figured i'd stop by i don't even know if i'm supposed to be here <laughs> there's a runway is just right back there There's quite a few instances where I, when I was working on the plane, I'd have to take it up and do a seat check. And so I got to fly on them quite a bit while I was working on them. Those, those planes I showed you. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go visit my dad. That's my dad, you guys. <laughs> hey. How you doing? My God. Good. <laughs> 
Look at you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to oh, see God. you. Holy shit. I put some shelves up here, Joe, just to, uh, because it was a lot of wasted space in the garage. You know, like you can imagine. Mm -hmm. They had a shelving up here that was a makeshift with these pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. And they had screwed it to the wall. And of course, they didn't uh, find the studs. Oh, yeah, yeah. They just screwed it to the jip rock. <laughs> and then when there was weight on this thing, it wanted to fall under the car. So I took it all out yeah. and redid it so that it's nice and solid, you know? Yeah. Oh, Joseph, it's great to see you. Good to see you, man. Oh, great to see your stuff, too, you know? Like, look at that, man. It's beautiful. So I'll have your buddy and we'll uh, talk to you off and on when you have a chance to. Sounds good. Give me a shout if you have a little bit of time where we can drive down and see you have coffee or whatever. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just like that. Got, got to see my dad. We hung out inside and chatted there for, for a while and uh, I saw him yesterday as well. I might see him one more time before I head back to the West Coast. But it's... Uh, pretty cool to see my dad after a while so the story with him is he was living in the Philippines for quite a period of time and uh, he did live in Calgary and he moved over there and then it wasn't until after the pandemic that he came back to uh, to Calgary so that's the first time I've seen him in a while anyway I'm gonna head back to the shop we're gonna get going on the van again soon so we'll see you guys back there Good in here. Mark's got all this thing masked off and he's primed up the top up here. So he's just getting this ready to do the first coat of paint. And then down here above the back wheel, he's doing the same thing. This is all prepped. We already painted that rim, so stand by and see that here soon. And this little bit back here too. So we're gonna try and do all this stuff today and then uh, finish up those wheels today. Right now we got lunch. Oh. It ain't keto. It's not keto, guys. That, my friends, is the last rim. And look at how good that looks. That looks freaking great. The final moment is underway. Mark is all suited up, ready to rock and roll. We're ready, baby. He's been working so hard on this the last few days to like fix up this little dent that was in my back bumper. It's just one of those things that just showed up one day and I was like, ah, I feel like it happened in a parking lot somewhere. 
got this thing here already and done up. Really good to fix it because there's a bit of rust that was coming through down there. And then of course, fixing my screw up when I put the four holes through my roof. But look at, look at how clean that looks already. It's primed, it's sanded, it's ready. It's probably gonna wipe it one more time and then it's gonna get the paint. And the rims are done. Wait till you see the final product. Oh, thanks, buddy. Smokes, that looks really good. <laughs> Dude, that is one sexy looking minivan, buddy. <laughs> looks like it's from outer space. That's one good looking vehicle. There you go, buddy. Bumper's just hanging off because uh, that's still, we don't want to connect that just yet. It's still a little bit uh, tacky. But, wow. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. A little close to the wall in here on this side, but wow. Oh, yeah. That looks really sweet. <laughs> oh. Thanks for your help, Bruce. I appreciate it, man. That was, that was great. And enjoy the time of just being here. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce was helping me do some of the, the sanding on the wheels, which was tedious a of, work. A lot of brake dust. A lot of brake dust, a lot of brake dust. I mean, look at them now. Yeah, they look really good. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I love you, bro. Appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. That looks really good, you guys. Look at that nice, beautiful black rim. How do you feel about forgetting your mask in that little shot? Not oh, very good. That is the biggest no-no. Look at him. Look at him. He's all safety up and he wasn't wearing his mask. <laughs> Hanging off his chin. <laughs>